Hey, what's up guys? Kane here with the XBLA fans and just wanted to give you a quick tip on the smite control scheme that I've found just fit the best for me and I've been using this since they introduced it, which was like way back in the beta. So I really like the savage control scheme and I still use quick casting versus instant casting or normal casting. Uh, I'm going to hop into the jungle test mode. And I've left just how to get into that, just in case you've never used this. It's actually a pretty convenient mode if you ever just want to practice something. There's ways to just level yourself up, refresh cooldowns. Uh, you can kind of attack people just to see kind of what, what kind of damage you would have been doing. You know, it's, it's a very, very useful kind of training area. And it's perfect for this situation of where I just want to show you guys kind of what my control scheme is. Now, I mean, I spent a little bit of time just kind of building this character. I'm using Sir Nunos. I was just kind of curious to see myself, like, you know, what the kind of damage this output this build would do. But, I mean, I haven't really figured out a final build for this character. I've tried, like, four or five different kind of ones. I'm still kind of tinkering a little bit. I really do like that early game build I've been using, which is completely different than this one. And this is definitely different. So it took me a couple seconds to remember where to go to level myself up. And once I figured it out, it's right here. So you just step in, step out. You can level yourself up a couple times. And I'm going to show you guys how my control scheme works. Now, obviously, the right trigger is how I do my basic attacks. I found that to be super natural for me. Uh, the left trigger is my first ability. The left bumper is my second ability. The right bumper is my third ability. And Y is my ultimate. Now, I really like this controller scheme because it allows me to keep my hands on the controller. My fingers are able to stay on the bumpers except for when I want to ult. And typically when I want to ult, I've kind of planned it out a little bit. You know, it's not necessarily a, a freak, oh my god, oh, I need to hit this. So I have plenty of time to move my finger from, you know, the RB button to the, the Y button. Now, obviously, there's some other different control scheme variances, and I just kind of, like, glanced through all the different ones that you could be running. For me, Savage was just by far the most natural. And, I mean, there are some perks to some of the other ones, because I will admit the one issue I do have occasionally with Savage is if I'm not paying attention right, I may accidentally use a Relic when I'm trying to use a Potion, and that's obviously really crappy. But here's just an example of how quick casting works. And quick casting to me is super useful. I can't use normal casting. I have issues when I do this. I feel like my combos are too slow. And it just feels very awkward. So with normal casting, you hit the LB button here. It's going to show up with the indicator. And you hit the LB button again to use it. With quick casting, however, it just goes. You know, you hold it. And you can see what you need to see. So you still have the indicator. And then with instant casting, which is what I just did, I hit LB and it's just already shot. Like, there is no indicator at that point. There is no more of that. If you're going to be using instant casting, hopefully you're very familiar with the character you're playing. I'm sure it's something a lot of pros do, but I would say for the average person, uh, it's probably not recommended. I've had a lot more success using at least some level of indicators, especially when I am playing a character that I am not super familiar with. I mean, obviously there are some abilities that if you've got it down, you've got it down and you want to be like super quick and that's totally understandable, but that's not me for the most part. <laughs> uh, but these are just kind of the control schemes that have worked best for me. I'd love to hear what you guys use. Um, please do leave a comment. Like I'd really love to see what the community is using. And this is Kane with XBLA fans. Just giving you guys some quick smite tips. Um, we'll have more videos on Smite up very shortly. Thank you guys so much for checking this out. Please do like and subscribe and share. The more you guys like something, the more we know this kind of content resonates with you. And we're more likely to do more of it. So thank you guys so much. Later.